Hey, what's up? We're going to have some tech news for you guys today. And the first thing is that Dell's announced that they will be releasing a 28 inch 4K monitor for $1,000. And they're also looking to release a 24 inch monitor for $1,300. But the 24 inch monitor is going to be one that's much more for professional usage. So then this way, if you want just as much pixel density as possible with a lot of workspace and everything, or if you're actually doing, let's just say, photography, video editing, and all that kind of stuff, it's supposed to have really good color accuracy, and the response time is supposed to be 8 milliseconds, which is not actually that much higher than the average that most people usually have on their monitors, so it's supposed to be much more for professional usage, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to be getting either monitor or whichever the one they want, and it's really great to see such high resolutions coming on such small form factors and i'm also happy to see that the prices are becoming much more affordable compared to the other 4k monitors which are around 35 to four thousand dollars three thousand dollars if you're actually lucky enough and it's actually going down in prices much faster than hd did when it first came around and also we're seeing that they're coming in smaller smaller form factors which is strange just because 2560 by 1440 or 1600 resolution monitors have been around for a very long time and it seems like the smallest size you can usually get is a 27 inch monitor so seeing this very very quickly i'm hoping we'll make the prices go down on those monitors and possibly make them have ones with higher refresh rates or better coloring and all kinds of stuff and also just smaller form factors and more affordable ultimately hopefully this will make things much better but it's still seeing things just coming much more down in terms of prices and things just getting much better and more affordable and more available for a lot of people now intel is looking to releasing a two terabyte ssd which is a lot of space and it's really great to see such big ssds coming out especially with some of the most recent price drops and with the black friday sales and everything some people are able to get a one terabyte ssd for less than $400, which is a great deal considering that getting a 500 gigabyte SSD for less than three or $400 used to be a really good deal. So seeing things go down so much is really great to see. And this is probably gonna be very expensive, but it is gonna be available on a very small form factor. Even though it's two terabytes of space, you're gonna be able to get through a 2.5 inch model. So if you wanna actually put it in your laptop or on your desktop, if you have the right drive or adapter to be able to do so, you can easily do that. And if you want even more performance, you'll be able to actually get it to where you can plug it into your motherboard, you know, through a PCI slot. So if you want even more performance, this will be of course even more pricey, but if you want that, you'll still be able to get it. And it won't really be any bigger than the other ones available right now. So we're seeing bigger, bigger, large sizes actually coming. And right now, as far as hard drives goes, at least as at the time of recording this video, four terabytes is the biggest size you could get on hard drive. So seeing two terabyte SSDs while seeing four terabyte hard drives, there's not too much of a difference in terms of sizes and availability even though hard drives have been out around for so much longer than SSDs have. Now, when it comes to the Steam machines, one of the really great things about it is the simple fact that just about any manufacturer out there can make their own model of it. And we've been seeing a lot of them from different companies and different price ranges, different form factors and all kinds of stuff. And it looks like Pixels, which is actually a company that's been around for a very long time, is looking to making their own version of it. It's going to be starting at $1,000, but it's going to have some very high-end specs, and it will be upgradable. It's going to be having, let's just say, one of the options is a GTX 680, and there's also going to be a 3570K, which is a great CPU. And there's going to be a lot of really high-end specs, so you're going to be able to get some really high-end hardware on such a small form factor. Now, this is going to be very large in size but it's going to be very, very thin. And it's actually going to be fitting on the back of your monitor or your TV. So if you have a 32-inch or larger, you'll be able to fit it back there perfectly fine. It'll have a very low profile. It'll be very hard for it to get in the way or even be noticeable. And it'll be a very powerful machine to be able to power all your games and everything. So this is really crazy. We're seeing a lot of different types of models and just the way that they're building them and everything. So there's going to be a lot of varieties and it's going to be really hard not to find something that fits your style, you know, depending on, you know, if you want it to be squared, rectangular, if you want it to be behind your TV or anything else like that. That you're definitely gonna be able to find something that you actually want at this rate well anyways that's pretty much it for today guys and I have some more tech news coming in but I'm gonna have to put it in a separate video because I realized I'm not gonna be able to fit everything into the title for all of you guys to be able to see and I don't want there to be stuff in the video but for you to actually not know it because if there's something particular that you're actually looking for in a video I don't want it to be in the video but for you to not know it because it wasn't able to fit in the title but anyways that's it for this video thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video